It's Nashville Mayor Freddie O'Connell's most ambitious undertaking yet an overhaul of Nashville's non, near non-existent mass transit system. His plan also includes 86 miles of new sidewalk, 600 traffic signals, upgrades, and the first ever 24-7 bus service. We want to know how would these changes impact one of Nashville's busiest stretches of road, Murfreesboro Pike. Here's News 2's Corey Johnson. That's right, Bob. The Choose How You Move plan is estimated to cost around $3.1 billion. The plan would mean a half-cent sales tax increase and a significant amount of upgrades that would prioritize Murfreesboro, Pike, and Antioch, among other major roadways. Now, I reached out to WeGo officials who say Route 55 along this stretch has been, has been averaging nearly 5,000 rides per weekday. So city officials are looking into a dedicated bus lane, but they're not sure yet where it could be placed. In addition to 40 more traffic signal upgrades, more than a dozen sidewalk changes are also expected on Murfreesboro Pike. Now, some of the larger stretches for new sidewalk proposed in the plan include Bolte Boulevard and Nashboro Road, where they connect with Murfreesboro Pike. The first ever 24-7 transit service will also start, which Council Member Joy Stiles, whose district includes this stretch of roadway, says could benefit those living in the area. It is about the frequency of the bus and also the extended service hours, right? Because the reality is, is my area is a mix socioeconomically. I have some upper middle class all the way down to essential workers. An essential worker that's working on 2nd Avenue needs to be able to get back to Antioch when their shift is over. And most of those places close at like one o'clock. And changes to sidewalk and traffic signaling are expected to take place within the first two years of the proposed plan, which still has to go before Metro Council. If it's approved, voters will have the final say in the November election. For more details on the Choose How You Move plan and how it could impact drivers in Antioch, make sure to look for this story on our website, WKRN.com.